Hello, welcome to our video where we will discuss how to use error events with expanded sub-processes and how you can effectively apply it to your business process models. Before we begin, let's discuss some error event characteristics. Intermediate error events can only be placed on the boundary of the activity. Error events can be used to end sub-processes. Error events always interrupt the activity. And error events are used to signify a critical problem during the process of completing an activity. Let's examine our pre-built model for testing bugs. In this model, we use the expanded sub-process titled Conduct Bug Reviews. In our expanded sub-process, we are able to show two paths from the test bug activity. If it is a valid bug, we update the logs, and our expanded sub-process ends. However, if the system is compromised, we use an error event to signify a critical problem. The end error event within the expanded subprocess would interrupt all other activities within the expanded subprocess if we had any. We then use the intermediate error event placed on the boundary of the activity, or in this case, the expanded subprocess, to end our process. A key point is that the error and event within a subprocess or expanded subprocess throws to the parent process, so you must use an intermediate error event on the boundary of the parent activity. If you are interested in learning more about BPMN and how you can apply BPMN to your organization's business process models, please subscribe to our channel as we routinely create new videos. I would like to thank you once again for joining us, and join us again in our discussion on error events. And don't forget to leave a comment below.